and the host of Facing South Florida, Jim DeFitti, joining us now. Senator Marco Rubio was mentioned several times today in a couple of the rallies, and he put out a statement today praising the, the students for their activism. But then he said that while protests are a legitimate way of making a point in our system of government, and I'm quoting him here, making a change requires finding common ground with those who hold opposing views. So let's talk about that. We saw what happened in Tallahassee, where for the first time in 20 years, gun restrictions passed uh, in, in, in the state legislature. Mm -hmm. Could it happen in Washington? It has happened in Washington. As part of the omnibus spending bill that the president signed on Friday, it included the Fix NICS bill, which makes it easier for states to report issues for background checks. It also included the uh, Stop School Violence Act that Senator Marco Rubio uh, backed. The president has uh, banned now bump stocks. Look, the, I think the kids were very smart in how they've ha approached this. They've, they've focused on voting, they focused on turning people out, and they've kept the eye on the politicians. This has always been the point that, that has to be made. The NRA's clout is, does not come from money. The NRA's clout comes from the fact that their members, five million members, are willing to vote on a single issue guns. And until those seeking gun control legislation and gun control are willing to put up those same sorts of numbers in the voting booths and vote on that one issue alone, the NRA wins. This is a good first step towards ending that. So there's been a lot of talk about sustaining this movement and sustaining this momentum and enthusiasm that these young people are bringing forth. Do you see really all of these people registering to vote and really changing the course of the country? Uh I, well, that, that's, a, that's a classic time will tell. I will tell you the one thing that I thought was so critical as to what happened in Washington today. There was, there was an attempt earlier in this process to make the events in Parkland seem out of step with the norm because, in essence, this was a sense of white privilege. You know, that, that the reason why this gained so much notoriety and attention is that this was a school in an affluent suburb, a largely white community that was affected, and so therefore, that had a lot to deal with it. What you saw on that stage and what the kids in, from Parkland did, even on that stage in Washington, was bring together their movement and to say it's not just about it's not just about what's going on there in their community. It's about the violence that's been taking place in the inner city. If you can bring together what's taking place in Chicago and Washington and Los Angeles and other communities around the country and bridge that with this, that is a powerful power co co coalition. It adds fuel to those urban areas that have not been able to get their voices heard it brings the two together and that could be a real force host of facing south florida jim defeaty jim thanks very much